Hello everyone, welcome to this video. In this video, I will be introducing you to Ludwig.guru, which is a very handy tool in helping you to write, especially if you're writing in English. Let's check it out. So this is the main page of Ludwig.guru, as you can see here, it's very minimalistic, nothing really fancy. And the link is Ludwig.guru, not .com why it's called Ludwig it's uh, inspired by the greatest philosopher of 20th century called uh, Ludwig Wittgenstein who wrote several books including uh, Tractatus uh, in one of the lines that he wrote was the limit of my language means the limit of my world because uh, he was born with some problems with language learning and he noted that if we don't really master the language we will not be able to see the world in clarity and this tool try to overcome that by giving you a simple solution of finding the right way to use certain words so you know when you write something you tend to uh, think in your mind and sometimes you don't know why certain words are used or you want to know what other people are doing with that kind of words or the phrases so there are several key things that you can see here it comes with certain um, like a code or uh, symbols that you can use. For example, if you are if you want to compare between two sets of phrases or two sets of words, you can use this VS versus. So like if you want to compare sincerely yours versus best regard, you can just add the word VS in capital. Then you can find the uh, the wildcard word, the the asterisk, just in case you don't know uh, what is. The, uh, missing here and then you have the underscore which will find the synonym of the word and then you can compare two sets of words within a phrase like have take a shower you're not sure whether it's half a shower or take a shower you can use this kind of symbol and then you can also uh, find the right order all right using the uh, this uh, bracket bracket right so if i click here you can see here it will order right the usage in the right order the right in order these are all the wrong usage maybe because this is the most commonly used one if i click on this i get to use vs so i can say like for example here i can say with uh, regards to or in regard to just in case you're wondering whether which one is right and then you can see like in regard to is widely used with regards to is seldom used according to the database so you might want to use it in regard to you can also use the asterisk to find the best word to fill in the gap like for example here find the something word so it will say you know what is the most commonly used phrases like find the right word find the missing word and all that so you can use the underscore to actually find synonym you can see here when i use underscore pray then they're back and implore these are all based on the uh, you know the sources that they have gathered you can also use for example this bracket to compare like um, like just now have take a shower right so you can see like take a shower is more commonly used than have a shower so most likely the correct usage is take a shower but you can always see the results and, and then consider Okay, so those are the basic command there, but if you notice here now, my upper bar here is turned into a bit goldenish or you know yellowish color here. It means I'm in the premium account because uh, the free account limits your search daily. I, one reason why I sign up for the premium resource is because I find it very, very useful as well for my own usage. Um, now, let's try and discover more. For example, when you see the result here, you also get to uh, hear or listen to how it's pronounced right? the best in hd entertainment so it actually reads out as well and then you can save it if you would like to keep it in your account and you can also show it in context so you can know how um, you know you can know how the, the the phrase or the word is used in context rather than in isolation and you can also share it if you want to share it with the you know with your friends uh, through uh, social media Right, and you can see here most of the sources are from the New York Times. If you would like to filter this, just click the filter, and let's say you are more focusing on more formal usage, then you might want to uh, untick or uncheck news and media and wiki and all this. Maybe you can still keep the 
science and research and formal now a, a premium version will allow you to also do this well, i'll go to this library later in a bit or you can add a new source in a bit but basically you can filter the sources uh, as you like you can also find idioms or expression or proverbs like part and parcel and thingy and then it will try to explain you if they find a definition it will give you the definition as well and you can see this uh, kind of uh, re related words or phrases as you can see here it, if it's idiom it will also tell you that it's an idiom okay so very useful if you're talking about writing and you are not sure how to use certain words or if you need some inspiration on what to do with your uh, writing this is very very useful it also helps you to paraphrase because you can see what are the ways of writing or using that phrase or uh, expression right now let's go to the library this is a premium version uh, I just added one here you can add your own collection here in this case I'm adding like for example gamification related articles so what it, what it means here is you're adding sources which are not readily available by uh, Ludwig for example you have certain articles or set of materials that you often refer to and you will love to find it immediately using this tool rather than doing your own search using other software so you can just add uh, you know add your sources keep on adding or you can just paste some text from the sources now because this is private to you your collection will not be available for other people so you're just searching within your own collection and you can even filter it you can even tag it see the tag that you're using and of course this is just for uh, listing or you want to see in the form of the grid so I think this is very useful because sometimes you have a, a huge collection of articles that you tend to refer to and you will love to learn how they write or how certain um, sentence structures are uh, used and all that so i think this is really really useful Let, let's go to the plans that they have if you're a guest meaning you did not sign in you will get seven search results and you can only search three daily so if you want to use more you register an account for free it's still free uh, you get to see 15 search results and then you get to do six daily queries and you get some interactive result as shown just now so what happened here is you will not be able to listen to the uh, pronunciation if you're a guest you can still uh, listen to it if you're registered right but still limited to six uh, uh, daily queries so if you want to go premium not only it's at free you get to have unlimited daily queries you can search as many as you like and then you get more search results you get the advanced filter and then also the library as mentioned just now so uh, you can consider the premium if you are really using this for heavy usage if you are just doing some random search from time to time then maybe registered will be the best but try to register because guests will limit you to only three queries sometimes you accidentally type the wrong word that takes up one query already how much is the premium account it's 49 usd per year it's about 200 per year in malaysian ringgit so if you convert that to monthly that would be about 15 to 16 ringgit per month right so i think quite nice not really that expensive i would say if you're really using this for your writing so that's ludwig.guru if you have the time try the free version first and uh, if you're happy with it then you can sign up for the premium okay that's all don't forget to subscribe to my channel and also like this video thank you very much for watching